<laughs> let's let's do a bit of football facts or football fiction. So um, this is all based on Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, you have three statements between you. Uh, only one of them is a footballing fact. The other two are footballing fiction. Uh, Danny, you're our guest today. So we shall start with you. What have you got? So in Ronaldo's first season, Fergie was angry at his performance. After a bollocking that reduced him to tears, Ronaldo's protective mother threatened to stuff bananas into Ferguson's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. that's that's almost too ridiculous to not be true, in, in a way. I mean, that's that's a murder, right? <laughs> bananas. And yeah, bananas, right. Banana, I mean, I feel a bit weird writing bananas in Fergie's mouth as a little <laughs> prompt here for me. I had to come back to... But there we go. All right, that was in his first season. Um, Pete, what have you got? Right, Cristiano <laughs> Ronaldo is actually named after former US President Ronald Reagan. Ow. Well, why isn't he... What? <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo's the Ronaldo part the, the, is a Brazilianized version of Ronald from Ronald Reagan. Right after Ronald Reagan, but there's loads of uh, Brazilian you need to footballs. bush up on your Portuguese and Brazilian naming policy. Yeah, right. come on. I didn't, I'm no, but, so but, sorry, but there is loads of Portuguese and Brazilian name players. Um, sort of, you know, there's like there's Ma Ma Mahatma Gandhi and John oh. Lennon and stuff. Isn't there? There's real players in real like Pikachu. There's a Brazilian footballer called Pikachu. So Hulk. this Portuguese. We've Hulk. also found out now that there's a load of Costumans called Tony Blair. Did you, did you realise that? I didn't <laughs> until England played Kosovo. Is this satire? No, no, I swear to God. Because of uh, of Tony Blair's role in, in End of the Conflict over there. So it's T-O-N-I-B-L-E-R, I think. It's like, it's a Tony, Blair. Blair. Tony Blair. <laughs> Tony Blair. Tony Blair. I don't know. Well, well, I, I, well, that makes sense. What yeah. I love about the Brazilian names, you know they've all got names like Grandads, like yeah. Fred and Arthur yeah. and that. Yeah. When the Women's World Cup was on, I was like, surely not. And they're all called like Barbara and Donna <laughs> and stuff. Martin. Martin. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, well, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's mum is featuring heavily in these first two uh, bananas and naming rights. Um, Mark, what is yours? So, when Cristiano Ronaldo's mum... <laughs> <laughs> Behave yourself. It's not. Um, when his agent, uh, long-term agent, Jordi Mendes, got married in, in 2015, and this is just so classic Ronaldo, it's untrue, he refu Cristiano refused to get him anything and said he's had his present by representing me. For my career. Yeah, that's, that's a fairly valid point with a, <laughs> yeah. from a cash point of view. So you refused to get him a present. Um, I, I'm i dismissing yours, Mark, based on the fact that you said, oh, this is so Ronaldo, like, like it like it was. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dismiss that one. I'm going to go between the bananas and the naming. Uh, the, I, I, the, I, to be honest with you, I just want it to be the bananas one. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go with, just out of interest, let me just ask you, with the bananas threat, yeah. how was this received? Was it via telephone or was it was it a, a letter sent or an email? A uh, fax. She phoned straight. I think she phoned Ronaldo and said, pass him, pass him on. Put him on the phone right now. Right, oh, I see. You yeah. know, like your mum does to your dad when he's come home drunk and she's angry. <laughs> and then went straight in there with her, you better just uh, watch it, mate. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. And uh, the, the, the mouth came in the phone like on inspector, you know, like, <laughs> it comes out. like a cartoon. <laughs> Who <laughs> bring <laughs> Who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's out, yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is the connection between uh, Cristiano's mum and, and and Ronald Reagan? Why such a big fan? What's it to do with her? Well, I think I think it was actually about her, uh, his dad. So I don't think actually, obviously, we know he'd have a great relationship with his dad. But his dad really liked Ronald Reagan, who was I think putting a lot, put in place a lot of. Keep going, Pete. Uh, we place a lot of uh, policies that um, yeah, on, that, yeah. that, that, yeah, yeah. that helped. Um, Who you know, in terms of foreign aid, Ronald Reagan helped out yeah. Portugal. Like and... what? What kind of foreign aid? <laughs> well, he increased tarifs on oh, yeah, um, on what bananas? No, on X, Y, and Z. He increased tariffs, and uh, and that helped the uh, Portuguese economy. So Cristiano Ronaldo's dad was like, "Well, I'm going to call my newborn Cristiano because obviously he's got a longer name than that still." But Cristiano, and you know what? I like the, the Ronaldo part. I admire your persistence on that one. I really do. But I am going with you, Danny. I'm going with the banana threat. Oh, it's me. No way. <laughs> oh, that's outrageous. Honestly. It's, yeah, he's, he is, uh, yeah, his name comes from Ronald Reagan. The rest of what you said was all bullshit, though. Wasn't oh, unbelievable. It? Like, yeah, yeah, okay, I mean, just checking. I don't even, I'm not even entirely sure what a fucking tariff is. But um, yeah, it was It was all based on that. It was, um, it's like I said, there are these names, the Brazilian players like John Lennon. Like Mahatma Gandhi, which is a, a genuine Brazilian player. Brazilian names, Portuguese naming rights, they do often come from this belief of of kind of people that you liked and, and people you'd like your child to be like. So, yeah. I'm if, looking forward. If, if you're wondering, Rich, what um, Cristiano Ronaldo actually bought Mendes for his, for his wedding. Oh, oh sorry. I've got, oh, my God. I'm sure everyone was yeah. wondering that. A £40 million Greek island. 
Wow. So a little bit different. Slightly mm. different, but it's... it's imagine being... Jorge oh, Mendes, right? It's pocket change. Keep the receipt. Right, let's be honest. Exactly, yeah. It's imagine, like me giving yeah. to one of the... <laughs> yeah, that The receipt's time. in the bag. If you don't want a Greek one, take it back. <laughs> but that's one of them presents that you've then got to, like, look after. Like, you know when someone buys you a dog? And you're like, oh, I've got to look after the dog and, like, walk the dog. And it's like a whole island of... <laughs> well, I've got to deal with the trees here and the beach here. It's just... Do you know a, what? All he's done is given me a burden. Yeah, I'm, good. You know I'm good for him. Yeah, I think, I'm, I'm, I think he's going to be all right. I think he will be.